go down to the field now. Dick Stockton with the victorious coach, Don Neely. Charlie, we've been talking about next year and what kind of great schedule you have, but this was a really a shocking loss for you today, and I'd like to know what explanation you have. Well, it was a disappointing loss. First thing, I thought West Virginia ran the ball better and more times than we anticipated. The other thing is Coach Nathan had his team better prepared. Our offense never got off track. We didn't have a, we didn't have a one drive against them. Then we ended that with a turnover. I just think they had a better prepared football team today, and that's my fault. Well, let me tell you something. It's game of you to say a thing like that. I got the feeling watching the pregame warm-ups that your team came down and said, well, this isn't really our, our kind of weather. I think West Virginia said maybe it's an equalizer. They hit you right off the bat on defense, and they carried the ball the first time they had it, and they never let it go. They got the momentum early with our mistakes, and, and like you said, they never let up. Our players just, uh, they were better prepared than we were, and uh, I thought Coach Nalen did an outstanding job on getting the running game going for their team. I thought that was the biggest difference of their ability to run against our defense. Charlie, uh, you had a good season nonetheless, and I know you're looking forward to great things in 82. Sure, sure. We've got good football players, and I'll do a better job myself. All right, thank, thank you me. very much. Charlie Pell of Florida, let's go right upstairs to Frank Lee. And Charlie indeed is a class act. He's got a big, big year to look forward to in 1982, losing just two senior starters, and the Gators are a team to be heard from.